Hey there folks, Quinn here, Mask Ramen on the internet with another comics review. And this time I have from Dark Horse Comics, Halcyon by Lucas uh, Maragon. And this book here is, I bought this a while back when it came out back in uh, 2010. And I bought it because it had that manga feel, you know, like uh, Akira or like Appleseed. And that's one of the reasons why I picked up this book. Uh, and this is the first time I'm reading it. Um, I like the design work, um, the mechas, and sort of like the tech that's drawn here. Um, but I don't really like the way the characters are drawn because they're like really deformed, like uh, SD characters, and very stylistically not uh, to my taste. Um, and the story wise, it's not. Um, it's not really captivating. I couldn't really tell you even, like, the characters' names. There are quite a few that are introduced and sort of stuck together really quick. Um, uh, they're, you know, like, students against the government and then sort of, like, thrust into this sort of um, tussle with the authorities. And they are sort of capture these um uh two mechs um and they're sort of tasked to deliver them to the rebels or something like that um not really super interesting in my opinion um the artwork is pretty consistent i i the, tech wise it's really great um the mechs are really cool well designed but like I said the characters are not really don't match the tech that's in there for some reason um, it's obviously a stylistic choice but uh, not a very good one in my opinion and that's one of the reasons why just one of the reasons why I don't really like it and it didn't really capture my imagination to continue the story. Um, I'd have to give this a uh, five, not nah, four out of ten. I, I would give it a four out of ten. Um, you know, and 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 that's my review for Halcyon. But this is what it's trying to um, imitate. Uh, Appleseed here. I got this in the dollar bin uh, not too long ago, and when I saw Halcyon, I was like, oh, I can. Just totally compare the two uh art wise you know it's very similar where it's kind of like um very tech heavy futuristic world and you know it has a bunch of um mech suits see how it's sort of very similar to the halcyon and what it's trying to be and th this apple seed is um uh, got a lot more energy to it um, a lot more, um, umph in terms of the artwork. I know it's also sort of, um, uh, heavily stylized people and it just works in this book, but not the other book in my opinion, just cause I'm used to seeing, um, sort of these things, but look at that. Um, way, way better from Masamune Shiro. But this is one of those ones that were in the um, 80s and 90s where they tried to import uh, manga to the States where they read uh, just like American comic books, but when they were designed and initially um, produced, they are... Japanese manga which is right to left and not left to right so some of the word bubbles I got lost reading this thing and I tried to continue and march you know sort of read the thing but I really really had trouble with the word bubbles and the story and I couldn't really get into it but it's just a really great book to look at and that's sort of how I take it so I can't really um, uh, give it a score or anything like that. Um, so that's it. Halcyon, you know, uh, 
4 out of 10. That's my review. Uh, until next time, God bless.